Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about GitHub Action Setup. Okay, how we can able to set up GitHub Actions for Playwright uh, in Java Cucumber. Okay, why GitHub Actions? Right, when you run, uh, basically you want to run for pipelines, Jenkins pipelines, Azure pipelines, similar format of GitHub Actions also can do the same format. Okay, here. Comparing to that too, here it is basically whenever you committed the code, automatically it will trigger some actions and it will do uh, running and it will allocate some VM and then it will trigger in it is finished, then it will give you the for the output. Okay. There are multiple ways you can able to see the output. And in this case, I'm going to show you the output is like, a, I'm going to commit the code. Okay. And then when it is run in the code, Okay, automatically it will run the code and once it is passed, it will generate and it will commit the report into a same repo. We can pull and then we can see that whether that latest uh, report is generated or not. Okay, that's it. that is the one. For this, you have to do like, uh, you need to create a GitHub account for a valid username and password. Once you've done right, you have to create some uh, new repo. Okay, and here you need to create the uh, name of the repo and you need to create as a public. Okay, once you've done that particular one, you need to go to the particular folder where you have created already. Okay, and here and inside that you need to open that particular uh, project and using for CMD. Once you've done open here, you need to use for git init. Okay, git in it, you need to use, then it, it is basically, it will initialize that particular project. And then you need to use for git add dot, you need to use. And after that, you need to use for git space, uh, comment space, iPhone M space, in a double quotation, you can provide for any measures. And then next place, the, when you're creating the project here, right? they will give you for one sample uh, remote URL connection, okay? Copy that URL and paste it and enter in the command prompt. Automatically, it will uh, connect with your remote project, okay? And then you can use for like a click uh, next for uh, git push, git space push, I'll write here, commands one by one, okay? Same thing you can use. First, whenever you open into the particular folder, here, here open for CMD. Once you open the CMD, first step you need to use for git init, okay? And then you need to use for, it It will be initialized that entire project, okay? Then you need to use for git add dot, you can use dot is indicated for all the files adding. Comparing to one by one, you can add for all the things, okay? Then use for git commit iPhone M and you can provide for any comment for this. And then go to your, uh, github repo and where you creating the project right just to copy that last to second light sorry last to second line it like git uh, remote connection and it will provide some link url okay copy that and you can provide directly that copy file uh, copy link and enter once you done right it will connect with your local to remote desktop okay once it is connected remote, then you need to use git push origin. Then you can provide for master and enter. And it will automatically it will uh, send everything into a master repo. Then you can refresh automatically your code will be uh, presented. Okay. I'm using for here. Already I have committed this. Okay. Once you're done here, right? Automatically it will come on city here. Okay. Then what is the next step I need to do? There is a next step, uh, go to here and main, okay, SRC, sorry, SRC main, Java, inside that you can create one package called a reports generator. You can use for any name which you are feeling the comfortable, okay, you can use for reports or you can create for anything, okay. And under this, you can create for one file that is generated file, okay, and with the main class, okay, once you created the main class, and here is the main step, okay, file a report output directory equal to a new file, and here we are mentioning for the where our Cucumber report will be generated, okay, and we are getting the all the things from the JSON format, okay, 
then we are going to creating that configuration file with the playwright java cucumber test ng directory okay and it will store that json and configuration and then it will generate a code okay it will generate that report okay this is a step you have to do and then there is a one more main case you have to use in the pom.xml okay pom.xml is the main concern here okay after you writing all of this okay you can come to here first one is playwright you are already done one minute And second one also we have already added for uh, io.cucumber, okay, Cucumber Java, and then version we have used, and Cucumber TestNG also we added, and one more uh, two repository. This is the two things, okay. One is a uh, Cucumber Core, okay. This is required for to generate the core repository, and uh, last one is Cucumber Reporters, okay. This is the one we need to do, okay. Once you done this two adding, and then you need to use for test ng. If you are already added, then fine. If you are not added, then you can use it. Okay. Then you need to use for this already I showed you this how to add it. Okay. Up to here, fine, right? Once you done, then you can save it, and automatically it will save everything. Okay. Don't worry about it everything. Okay. These are the two points you have to do, and then our final step. We need to create an ML file. Okay, we need to create an ML file. How to create an ML file? Go to here where you created that project and click on the actions. Okay, once you click on the actions, it will show you. Uh, here I have already added because of that it is not showing for particular concept. One second, I'll show you what exactly it will show you. Okay, I'll click for web driver IO app. Okay. I'm clicking for the GitHub Actions. Oh, here also I have added. Mm. Selenium. GitHub Actions. See here, there is a one function is a set up a workflow yourself. Okay. Here there is a link will be there. Click the link automatically it will navigate into in this location okay this is the file it will comes to you okay and i'll show you that what exactly the steps you have to add okay i'm going to okay this is the one it is available in my repo okay github repos okay you can able to create uh, You can copy the entire things, okay? I'll show you where exactly it is there and workflows. Inside the workflow, this, this is the main, okay? ML file, you can able to see, right? You can uh, copy directly and then you can paste it into your local as well, okay? You have to do one is name colon you can provide for anything here okay it's not a mandatory to say uh, use the same you can use for anything then you need to use the permission and content is right why it is required because we are after generating the report we are committing into that our repo itself the report folder okay then you need to use the on workflow bench and um, push branch is master mine is master and if you have for main and master right you need to use the comma and main okay then you can use for here job build okay this is basically uh vm okay which is virtual system it will automatically update okay then this is the checkout actions okay this everything is checkout access and here also here is basically a maven repository where we create in the maven repository right that maven repository to go and search and if it is there pom.xml it will take and then it will build based upon which we have created right those things and it will take it and then here it will run that particular things okay it will install that entire things okay then this is our main step it will run for that particular entire project okay if you want to run for 
tags which i have already shown i find d documentation those things cucumber option we can tags we are showing right that particular thing you need to use after that you need to give the space and then provide that particular concept then automatically it will give you okay then our uh, main step is generating that report which we have reported uh, creation java class right this is the one this one this is basically my package name and this is my class name okay this is my package and this is my class name okay same thing i have mentioned here once it is completed this particular step to close right then automatically it will go and click on this one okay automatically it will generate the report once it is generate the report i am doing for copying that entire report into docs file docs folder it will create the docs folder and it will store that entire report in case there is a docs folder is already exist then it will override okay and then we are going to use the commit concept okay commit html report to repo okay this is required for this particular step okay save this one and then you can write for all the step what are the things it is there the same thing it will automatically it fetch you okay then you need to use once you completed the code automatically it will run okay automatically it will run here i have run after so long i have done this particular running concept okay i have done for lot of things and finally i come to know that where exactly i'm doing the mistake and all then finally they given okay but all of this and there is one more sorry uh, there is one more is a main one okay sorry for that okay here plugin is there right plugin pretty okay and here we previous we created cucumber.html not required to create that you can create for this one okay then automatically pitch that particular value okay once it is done automatically you can commit the code and then it will run for you once it is run you can able to click for that particular one and click on build it will show you for all the step what all the things it is achieved okay for your reference i will do one thing uh, anything we can okay this is this is generating a report okay just i'm saving this i'm saving this okay i'm going back to here you can see this is the one git status i'm going to use and here there is a three files are got changed okay then i'm going to here you can see here we have for two right now okay yesterday i have done this one okay then now i'm going to use for here git add dot and git commit iphone em uh, updating code git push or origin master okay i'm committing this now come back here and refresh see one is automatically started for running for us okay if i refresh here see now previous it is there just dot now it is rotating because it is trying to running if i click here build will be there and if i click the build automatically you can see runner got passed started for the runs okay what all the things it is there everything it will be display here is the running class okay you can see for the all the executions and how it is going and it will try to download the files and you can see here steps got executing all the things even you can use for uh, uh, tags also okay what all the tags you want you can able to use the tags you can provide the tags and automatically to take the tags as well in the ml file okay
see it is generated the report and it is post the entire things okay now it is committed the code okay and even you can see here build got passed if i click back you can see my three in case if, if you see the failure something you are missing go to my repo and copy paste your code my code to in your code automatically will work for you okay if you are facing the still facing some issues comment that a particular error message into in this particular video i'll try to help you for that okay and if you want to see that whether it is generated or not everything you want right then use for cmd git status and use for git pull okay now you can see there is a report where it is there docs cucumber html reports and overview failures html a future overview it is there okay now if i'm going back to here okay there is a folder called docs okay inside the docs you can see the cucumber report is generated okay if you go here and click this particular step and you can see my steps got here okay and even you can see the one day ago five past 46 and sorry here it is there So now cucumber report okay login with the scenario outline nine steps six passed this is looking very pretty right comparing to previous report see now this is a normal report and this is very pretty you can use for tags what are the tags we have regression and smoke normal tags we have okay and the steps what are the steps we have and our, any failure it is there and comparing to previous this is looking pretty correct you can see how many steps got passed and how many uh, scenarios got passed. If it, there is any failure, it will show you. Otherwise, no. And two got passed. Okay. Future wise, two, right? 100% got passed. This everything looking, comparing to normal report. And this is very pretty. You can see, you can see here what exactly the background, how it is background and background. Okay. And again, background will be there. See everything will be presented like this we can able to do and here you can see maybe we'll get the question mark here you can see date of 20, uh, 25 april 2025 okay like this we can able to do for our github action setups okay i hope it this entire information for you thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you